So now we are going to discuss about uh, the macro functions. Okay, like uh, base as we have uh, some functions in macros, and these functions are, if I name the function, these are macro character function, macro evaluation function, macro quotation function, okay? and other small small functions. But these three are the main functions: macro character, macro evaluation, and macro quotation. So, uh, some example of uh, base as function is given, like upcase function. How does the upcase function work? So, for that, we the trigger is upcase, and with in within bracket we write the variable name, wherein we apply the upcase. But when it comes to the macro, we need to put a percent sign before upcase. Fine. Mm -hmm. In case of substring, the entire provision is the same. We write the variable name and then starting string and then length. Scan is the same. In scan, we supply the variable name, then position of the string and then the delimiter. Then comes the index. So an in index we try to find out the, the position of the V, like here V, I'm, I'm trying to find that what is the position of V. So likewise. So these are some basic functions which we use to discuss in base size. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, like uh, micro variable, micro functions operate before the program compiles. So the entire uh, operations of uh, macro functions happen before the compilation. That's the reason we always try to resolve the macro function before the compiler start processing. We'll discuss one by one about the functions. For that some business requirement is given. Please go through the business requirement. Now here the same of case substring scan and index is given okay for uh, for substring we need to know the argument position that is uh, from where we want to start and the length of the string this is this is how we used to do in base as so in base as without percent sign otherwise all all the arguments which we supply were the same. Clear? Okay. Yeah. Here, some more example of substring is given. Like, suppose date is like this, 19 June 2009, and when we supply the substring function with the starting position at 6th and 4 more positions, so it will give us result like this. Explaining substring, reason being we are going to use substring in some of the functions. Clear? Yeah, so it's all, almost same thing like the basis but correct. the percent is... Correct, correct. Mm. So here, one macro program is written, okay? This is this is one way of writing the program. This is second way of writing the program, and this is third way by help of substring function. Okay. Clear. So here, see, substring function is used with some automatic SAS macro variable. Yes, like SAS. System date. Date. Yeah, system date. It is using, uh, it is used on system date, so that's, that is the best part of substring. So, in substring, we usually refer some of the macro variable, that could be automatic and that could be user defined. So here, the same example is given, substring, fine, and with that, we supply certain logical arguments and then we simply prop print. 
So here in this program scan is is not used. Okay. But one example of scan is given and we will be using the scan into next slide. So we don't have a scan on the first one. Here we are saying scan on the second second part of the value that that Orion dot city Orion Orion dot orders. So I am interested for orders. How SAS will come to know about second part by help of this delimiter, which is supplied as the third argument. Do you have idea about the scan function? How scan function works? Right. Do you have idea about scan function? How the scan function works? Yeah, yeah. So that's the same. Here, suppose my value is I am referring a data set called Orion dot orders. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wherein I am only interested for the orders. Second part, yes. Yeah. Second part. So using scan function, specifying the the variable wherein I am going to use this. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and then after I am saying that the second second part of the of the value. So this is first Orion is the first part and this orders is the second part. But how SAS will come to know that this is second part? So second part is decided by help of the delimiter. So this dot is the delimiter here. So we supplied third argument as a delimiter. Okay. Fine. It it sometimes happen into negative into reverse order. Here we are we are counting from left to right. That's the reason two is written. In case it happened from right to left, so in that case we use negative two. Here scanning is happening from which direction? From left to right. Fine. Okay. Now suppose I am interested for Orion. Okay. So in that case, either I put here one. If I put here one, then it will it will give me a result with the Orion. Or the second option is to write here minus two. So when we write minus two, then counting start from right to left. Not left to right. Usually is left to right, but in case of negative, it starts counting from right to left. Okay. Clear? Yes. Yeah. Here, some uh, some example is given by help of scan function. The same. Uh, Orion underscore MC dot order data set we are referring. Out of that. We are using, uh, we are cre uh, creating a new macro called name using the scan function on this variable and interested on the second part of the of the name. So second part part is mc dot order. So once you run the program, we get information in log window like this. Okay. This is the same program which we discussed, but it's written standalone on a slide. So again here we are referring the Orion dot orders variable we are referring name using with the scan function start date we are referring current date we are current year we are referring with substring function and after that in title we are referring the scan clear then there is upcase function likewise in the base size so it gives us the values into uppercase. 